Hello and welcome to another utility precast training video. In this video, we will be reinforcing a wing wall. Let's jump right in. Here we are in our utility precast training model, and we're going to jump right in here to the wing wall. So let's zoom in and let's switch our selection filter to the assemblies. Now, in previous videos, video two, I showcased a couple different methods of doing this, whether it be a two-stage pour or whether it's a monolithic pour. Uh, just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to be showcasing the monolithic pour here. So with my assembly selection on, single click on the wing wall, right click, create view, default views. Once these are open, I'm just gonna be working mainly in this perspective 3D view, but if you wanna work in the other views, feel free to. I'm gonna come up here to my rebar set and select the crossing bars. Now, since this is a monolithic shape, you'll notice as I scan along the edges here, Tecla notices that this is obviously one shape. So I'm just gonna look for this edge. I'm gonna click this unselect all legs. Now, first, I'm just gonna create an L here. So a single click here and then left click on this leg, middle mouse. If I do a control two, you will now see we have a nice L bar following the shape up and then extending over. I'm gonna do the same thing, control four, rebar set, crossing bar. Find, follow my leading lines, unselect all legs, grab this inner leg and this horizontal leg, middle mouse. I go to control two, right click interrupt, Notice now I have both sets here, I'm creating these planar bars. So rebar set planar bar to come here. And then we're going to do um, on the long axis here, on the near and then far. And this one we're going to do for the actual wall portion, we're going to do a little bit differently. We're going to do near face, clicking on the inside. And then I'm gonna rotate around 180 and also do near face. And the reason behind that is this miter. If I didn't rotate around and do near face, we can fix that bar too. If I didn't rotate around and do near face and near face, we'd have some bars protruding out. And that's exactly what you're seeing from this guy here. These bars are protruding out because of how we selected the faces. But this is good because I can show showcase how to eliminate these bars. So with your direct modification on, select on your bar group that you want to eliminate. And you can come up here to this edit spacing properties. And then the next button over will now uh, pop up. It says enable, add, move, or delete bars. Select that. And then now what we're looking for is we're just looking for uh, these bars. They have these, you can see them right here. They have these little red lines that showcase all of their spacings. So you can single click on a bar and then you can press delete and it'll actually delete that bar out. So just like that, we deleted that bar that was protruding out of the shape. So when you get to this point, this may be all that you do for wing walls. You may just have, you know, the inner and outer mats and you can kind of call it quits here. I just wanted to showcase uh, two more things when it comes to wing walls. The first being the order of how these are layered. So you notice Tekla will, by default, will automatically layer these appropriately so that way the bars are not clashing. If I single click on my bars and I open up my settings cog over here, you'll notice, just make this a little bit bigger, you'll notice there is a layer order number and by default that's gonna be set to auto. But if you wanted to switch these around for whatever reason, you can just change the layer order so by switching this group to one, then now this one is still set to auto. So this now knows to switch it, but you can purposely set them both to one. And now you notice that they both clash. So depending on how you have this set, you can have multiple different sets and kind of multiple different layers there. But, you know, default auto will, will do this. And then likewise, auto will, as you change the size of these bars, so if I've made these now like a number six bar, You'll notice that the rebar set that was on top of that will also adjust to avoid any clashes happening in the model. 
So that was the first thing. And then now the last thing that I wanted to showcase with these wing walls is sometimes some precasters will just extend a bar down along a face and then just kind of have it hook through. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're just going to create um, some planar bars. And I'm going to do on the far face and the short axis. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the underside here. Uh, sorry, I'm going to do the short axis here. So I've got on far face, and what that's going to do is that's going to read this surface. So it's going to read the whole six foot, but it's just going to place it on the far face. So single click, right click, interrupt. This bar should now be in there. So they are right there. I'm just going to make these a little bit more realistic here. Number four bars. Just to make it a little easier, I'm also going to hide away some of these other bars just so they're not in our way. I'm just going to hold Control, right click, and then hide. I'm going to do the same for these two groups as well. Right click, hide. Okay. So now we just have this group here. With the bar selected, I'm going to press D on my keyboard or select the direct modification down here on the bottom. You'll notice these edges along the rebar set. As I highlight over them, you can kind of see that, that extra line in my cursor that kind of highlights. That lets me know that I'm on that edge. Well, while on this edge, I can hold control on my keyboard, left click and hold and drag up. And I can drag up. Right now I'm gonna drag up a you know one foot extension on the bar. And in doing so, you'll notice that Tekla will automatically redraw the view for you. Let me hide away some of these bars so we can see exactly what was done. Hide those and hide those. So just by holding control on our on our keyboard and pulling those up, we created this bend. Now you could do this also if I press D on my keyboard through the end detail, and you could add a hook on there, or you could hold control and drag them up. But now if you'll notice, we have the bar is, is bending right along our outside plane. If I went to a control four, you'd notice they're actually extending outside the piece. So we need to change that. I'm gonna, to change that, I'm gonna go to my end view here. And I'm gonna do a control two. And again, just to make our lives easier, I'm gonna hide away some of these bars. So back to control P. If I single click on this bar, you'll notice that there's these handles here. I'm gonna hold alt and just window around these two handles here. So now these two handles are solid and these two handles over here are not solid. With these selected, I'm just gonna right click, move, select my start point, and then however far in I want these, um, want these bars. So if I wanted them, let's say nine inches in, just move them in nine inches in. If you wanted them to move even further, you can move them even further. But just like that, and now we have that bend extending up and inside the shape. And then likewise, if we were to hide these bars away, we could do the same thing. If I just say hide, I can come here to rebar set, the planar bar. Uh, we can do it on the near face and the short axis here as well. So just by single clicking on the shape, I'm gonna hide those bars away. And just to showcase this another time, we're gonna come to our leading edge here, hold control and then just drag it out. That one I'm gonna do a two foot. So you'll notice that just like we saw previously, Tekla's gonna redraw that view to show, show you exactly what you just did. You can just hide away some of these bars. So just like that, we have a extension going through here. Now the very last thing that I did wanna showcase is tapering. So some precasters will not, you know, create these unique bars along the kind of angle here where every one of these bars is a unique bar with a unique length. Sometimes they will step taper. So if you open up your settings cog over here on the side and come down to step tapering, we have a nice feature where you, where you can do by distance or by number of bars. So if I select a number of bars and said every three bars, enter or modify, you'll notice that now every three bars, it's gonna step down and then step down every three bars. So this is a nice option 
for those precasters that prefer step tapering versus every bar being unique. And you can do by distance also. So if there's a specific distance, what's also nice is that once this is set in here, so if I keep this on number of bars and three, and then now if I change my spacing here, let's say I do something extreme like four inches on center, you'll see that everything auto adjusts. So it'll still hold that three no matter what you do or if you change bar sizes or so that is how to reinforce a wing wall. Thank you guys for watching.